Today I'm making a drink, we're gonna make Brazilian lemonade. It's a trendy drink you'll come across on TikTok and Instagram, and it's unique because it only has three ingredients, water, lime, and sugar. And we blend the entire lime, pith, peel, and all. While some recipes call for sugar, most call for sweetened condensed milk, which is what I will be using today. As for why it's called lemonade and not limeade, I do not speak any Portuguese, but from what I understand in Portuguese, limes are called limones, and the drink is referred to as limonade, which translates in English to lemonade. And to fit the overall theme of this YouTube channel, we won't be making it with just three ingredients, but we will instead be adding a fourth ingredient, which will of course be cachaça. For this recipe, you'll need 750 milliliters of water, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and three limes. For those of you that work with limes often, you are probably a little leery about this drink being overly bitter. I am as well. And while the recipe is all over TikTok, the specs that I'm using today are not. The ones on social media seem kind of bad, and the results will probably be an extra bitter drink. The recipe I'm sharing is a combination of a few online recipes and a few YouTube videos, all in Portuguese. So there's probably gonna be a little bit here that's lost in translation. But the key here is to not overblend your limes, as that will get too much pith and peel into the drink. But every blender is different, so I can't tell you exactly how long you should be blending yours. When the time came to make this drink, I didn't have any sweetened condensed milk on hand, so I made my own. The recipes I found online for this were from blogs and the ratios didn't seem very accurate. So instead of just making it from some recipe, I just reverse engineered a can of sweetened condensed milk. The way I made it was four cups of whole milk, 180 grams of white sugar, that's about a cup. And I simmered this on the stove for about 40 minutes, reducing it by about 60%. Those numbers are based on the label of a can of Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk, which has 210 grams of sugar per can. I just took the total amount of sugar, subtracted the sugar that is naturally in the milk I used, and added the remainder as white granulated sugar, which came out to about 180 grams. As for the taste, it's fine. It's not noticeably different than store-bought. I don't prefer this over store-bought, but if you wanna try it out, Follow that recipe. It's also a little bit cheaper than just going to the store and buying a can of sweetened condensed milk. First thing you do is make sure that your limes are washed and then you're gonna cut off the ends of each lime and then quarter them. I already filled up my blender with 750 milliliters of water. Now I'm gonna blend this for just about 15 seconds in a Vitamix and no longer. Next up, I'm gonna strain it. And then rinse out my blender. I'm gonna add our lemonade back into the blender and add in our can of sweetened condensed milk. Just blend this until it is combined. And that's it. Brazilian lemonade. Let's try some. That is wonderful. Full disclosure, I made this before uh, testing this and it was really bad. I used less sweetened condensed milk and I used four limes and I blended it much longer and it was just overly bitter, almost undrinkable. I'm gonna find that video that I found that's, that's in Portuguese and I'll share it below because that's where I got the ratios for this one. This is so good. I can't even describe how good it is. It's really not overly bitter. It's not overly sharp. You're getting this kind of like very unique lime flavor. This sounds crazy. It tastes like Fruit Loops. That's the taste I'm getting from this in a delicious way. And that is such a distinct flavor. If you don't like Fruit Loops or think it's strange, I, I get it, but it, it's the lime flavor here. It's all of the lime. If you're like me, you would have thought through this and, and thought to yourself, well, why not just juice the limes and then take the peels from the limes instead of the whole thing into the glass. And I tried that as well. It doesn't work. You really need all of the pulp from the lime and you need a lot of that pith to add to this texture. It has this very unique mouthfeel. It's all that texture and thickness and the foam and the froth that you're getting from the pith, the peel, and the pulp inside of the lime. So no more messing around. Let's put some cachaça in this and see what it tastes like. The drink is already extremely frothy, so we really don't need to shake it, but I do want to get everything incorporated into this. So 
I'm going to use a drink mixer, but you could shake it. You could just use a swizzle stick. You could just use a spoon. I'm gonna add five drops of saline solution, six ounces of our Brazilian lemonade, and two ounces of cachaça. Next, I'm gonna add about six ounces of crushed or nugget ice just do a really quick flash blend on the drink mixer to make sure everything is combined, diluted, and chilled. Try it. It is essentially a creamy caipirinha. It is, uh, this is like, I don't know. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. This drink is a great example that you can make something that really sucks and just tweak a couple little things and make it fantastic. Probably tastes great as a slushy style blender drink. Easy to make, uh, something for a crowd. I love that you're taking those limes and we're using the whole lime. There's not a ton of prep here. This is just a simple, easy, delicious summer cocktail. So yeah, I don't know. Five out of five, two thumbs up, gold star. It's an internet trend. It's gonna stick around. I would not be surprised if you start seeing this on bar menu soon, if you haven't already. It is delicious. It's Brazilian lemonade using whole limes and some cachaça. If you don't have cachaça, Use a light rum, use a dark rum, use whatever you want in here. It's going to be delicious. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, see you on the next one.